What's the motherfucking deal, YouTube? This your boy Lazan. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video. I, I thank you guys for supporting the channel. Uh, like I said, uh, I really uh, thank you guys. Like I say, um, for tuning into every live stream that I come in. You remember, uh, last all, last game before the All Star break, uh, the Rockets uh, will uh, be playing Minnesota tonight. Uh, this is the last game before the All Star break, and I will be talking about. Uh, my thoughts on the Rockets first half of the season just give me a one if y'all want me to live stream and give me a two if y'all want a separate video about that but like I say I'm not gonna live stream unless I know some Rockets fans is gonna come in live stream and just talk you know with give me their thoughts on the second half of the season and stuff like that so like I say just give me a one for a live stream give, just give me a two for like a video or something like that but I say I'm gonna give my thoughts on the first half of the season. Uh, what I thought the Rockets can improve on this and need to improve on in the second half, and what I saw in the first half of the season. So thank you guys for supporting the channel, and let's get right into this news. Uh, like I say, go sub up also to Dante live streams NBA NFL 2K19. I'm gonna be live streaming uh the Rockets versus the T Wolves on that um uh, on on that uh channel over there. So let's get right into the news. Uh, Joe Flacco has been traded to the uh, Denver Broncos. Uh, I, I don't got details of the um, trade, but the trade cannot be completed until March 13th. That's when the new league probably year probably starts. Uh, Joe Flacco, uh, like I say, you can tell when the Ravens drafted Lamar Jackson, Joe Flacco's season was done, and plus the guy ended up getting hurt. And like I say, um, he won a Super Bowl. He won a Super Bowl. Uh, against the San Francisco 49ers, Ray Lewis is last year pretty much, like I said, and after he got that big contract, he was never the same pretty much, so one that shows, one that shows you uh, why that Lamar Jackson will be the starting quarterback, it is his team, and two, uh, when you go towards the Denver Broncos side of things, they don't have too much faith in Case Keenum as well. Case Keenum is not is a he's an average quarterback. Uh, like I said, he had a great year in Minnesota. Then he he reverted back to the old Case Keenum. Like I say, against the um, Philadelphia Eagles in their Super Bowl run. But that shows you John Elway. Uh, they don't have faith in uh they don't they don't have too much faith in Case Keenum. So they brought Joe Flacco in. They traded they traded Joe Fl they traded for Joe Flacco and it's gonna be a quarterback competition between Joe Flacco and Case Keenum. That's if Case Keenum still allowed. Uh but Lamar Jackson, it is the it is his job right now. Yeah, to me he had a pretty good season. Uh he needs still need to improve on his accuracy. Uh his biggest Lamar Jackson biggest aspect is throwing the football. It's uh, running the football, not the one that running the football, using his legs to keep plays alive, putting them in some read option uh, situations. Like I say, um, uh, you, you expect the Flacco to be up out of there anyway, be up out of there anyway. This would, this would have been his last season anyway. So like I say, uh, the Broncos uh, have acquired uh, Joe Flacco. Uh, like I say, as soon as uh, Baltimore traded for uh, Lamar – Traded up in the first round to get Lamar Jackson. You knew it was over. You knew uh, Joe Flacco uh, was going to be a part of there. You knew it was a amount of pressure on him, uh, like I said. Uh, so, like I said, uh, this was a good trade by the Baltimore Ravens. Letting, basically letting Lamar Jackson know that you're our guy. You led us to the playoffs. Uh, even though you didn't have a good playoff debut against the Chargers. Hey, you're our guy, uh, like I said. Uh, and Joe Flacco, he had some good years in Baltimore. One was the Super Bowl year when he got hot, and after that, after he got paid, it was just all down here for Joe, downhill for Joe Flacco. Like I said, he got hurt. He ended up getting hurt. He ended up being frustrated because uh, he wanted to uh, be out there on the field. And Lamar Jackson and the team, they were just playing. They were just playing too well right now. They were just playing too well for Joe Flacco ending up back in the uh, lineup. But like I say, it's going to be a quarterback competition between Case Keenum and Joe Flacco in the offseason for the Broncos. Uh, I think they need they need a receiver. Uh, like I say, they need they need some running backs. Uh, well, well Philip Lindsay is a good running back. Well, I, I would keep Philip Lindsay as as a good running back. He had a thousand, basically a thousand yard season. But like I say, uh, the Baltimore Ravens traded Joe Flacco to the. Uh, Denver Broncos, the deal cannot be completed until March 13. Uh, 13. Uh, like I say, I appreciate everybody sh for showing the love and the support. Y'all comment, like, and subscribe on this video of what you guys thinking about Joe Flacco got, got traded to the Broncos. 
uh, and stuff. Like I say, I think it's going to be a quarterback competition in Denver. And Lamar Jackson, that is his job. That is his job. Baltimore Ravens are saying that it's his job by getting Joe Flacco out of there, which I thought they were going to move him on, move on for Joe Flacco anyway. So give me a comment, like, and subscribe on this video, y'all. Sub up to Dante live streams. I'm gonna be live streaming tonight. Uh, the Rockets in Minnesota. Y'all live stream. I'm gonna be live streaming tonight. So thank you guys. Give me your thoughts on Joe Flacco being traded to the Denver Broncos. Uh, thank you guys. Much love. I'm out. Peace.